He's been dedicated since he started. It was just a constant thing with him. He was probably one of the hardest training fighters I've ever seen. He was always running. He'd run home from the gym. I don't know how many miles that was. He'd run back the next day and start all over again. And he was a very dedicated fighter. He wanted it. He could tell just by watching him train that that was going to be his future. And the crowd loves the step. Ali is giving Ellis a lesson. There were two things he said he was going to do. One, he was going to win a gold medal in the Olympic, and the other was he was going to be heavyweight champion of the world. He loved to work, and he did not play, and he was deadly doggone serious about this stuff. The intensity that he brought to his learning his craft. He would study every great fighter. I mean, he knows the little details, the little small things he would do, and he tried to incorporate it. That's all he talked about was boxing. He was going to be the world's greatest. Turned out he's right. Rope like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Oh, rumble, young man, rumble. Oh. Ali is pulling a little of the stuff that he pulled in the first fight against Liston in Miami Beach. That was the biggest round of the fight for anybody. Frazier was within a punch or two of going down. Here's the decision. The winner by unanimous decision is Muhammad Ali. There it is, the winner by unanimous decision, Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali.